Previously on Barefoot Sailing Adventures. Wow, we did it, folks. We did it. Well, let's see what we find down here at the Navigators. Very nice. Tropical feel. Wow, look at this nice place. Hey, it's got a Key West vibe here. Yeah, we lucked out big time. Look, how long have people been hanging out at this spot, right? huh? <laughs> I'd say a long time. Look at the size of that tarpon over there. Oh, the gator. It was about that size. Bigger than that. It was way bigger than yeah. that. The gator that we just saw was more yeah, like... Not quite Not that. quite that like, head, but... It was like in between those two. Hey, look. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, Mike's new shirt. All right, what's the bag say? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. And it is sun protecting too. There you go. <laughs> Looks good. That's a lot of shrimp. Look at that. It is a lot of shrimp. <laughs> Thank you. Look, when they get busy, I imagine they open up these, this outdoor bar. Yeah. We got a little store here for the marina. Just a quaint little river place. But a big success. Now we're back here at the boat. And just a gorgeous little location. Pretty small of a spot. As you can see, the boat barely fit in here. All right, I'm actually going to change my shirt. In order to get out of here, folks, I'm going to have to be a real navigator. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Okay, I have a plan. I want to video us getting out through here. Let's see if I can make this happen. Let's see if we can do it. Go ahead and untie. Pretty please. Sugar on top. Here we go. Now, let's see if we can get out of here. That's the key. The downhill side will be more exciting. It will be more exciting if I go the way we came in. All right. So far, so good. How's it look up front? Nice and dark. That's what we want. Dark water. So here's our sandbar. Oh, we can cut it. That tree sticks out quite a ways. Current's strong. We don't want to run that tree over. I promise you that. Ha ha! We did it! Just in time for the sunset. Oh, look at there. Beautiful sunset. All right, teamwork. We kicked ass right there. That's how it's done, folks. Got that shot I was looking for. I think that worked out really well. Navigators was a huge success. We did not have to get towed. That was the biggest thing. All right, we made it into Navigators, had a great meal, and made it back out safely. Now we're gonna find a great place to anchor and call it a night. Gator dead ahead. Really? Yeah, he just went under. There's skittish around here. Gorgeous night here on the river. All right, we found our spot. We have now anchored for the night east side of I-75. And we're here for the night. Ashley, what do you think? How did we do? We did freaking awesome. It was a great day. It was a great day. Very successful day. Went up to Navigators. We saw an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it was an awesome day. Before we go any farther, we want to do another recap of the place and show y'all some changes that they've made. We're going to fly you back there right now. Before we leave this area, fly with us back to the Navigator for a little update because of a historic and devastating flood. Completely engulfed the building and forced them to tear it apart and rebuild. So we want to show you where they're at and then we will continue south to Key West. So fly with us back to the Navigator for a little update. This is post-hurricane Navigator's update. You know what has changed? I was wondering. That one palm tree that was leaning is now in the water right there. Oh, yeah. See it? Yeah. So after their forced remodel, there have been a few changes here at the Navigator. And that's what we're here to highlight. Look at how the... Uh -huh. I think that's a little different. It is way different. It's changed a lot. Of course, the tree was sticking out like this. That's where we had to go by to get in here. Yeah, we came in around this way. It seems like the sandbar was more over here. Yeah, over there and it jutted out. Now oh, it's wow. like shifted to over here. To me, I think you're gonna be all right coming in over yonder. Yeah, I was gonna hug it out. Yeah, but things have changed right here after the hurricane. The beautiful dock remains. A lot of this beautiful foliage is still here. We're gonna walk the docks down to the bar. They're open and ready and running, and we're gonna check it out with you guys. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Look at the bar, so nice. Look, how long have people been hanging out at this bar, right? huh? <laughs> The uh, murals, I guarantee it, it's the same artist that's at the other bar. Fresh new menus looking good. Yeah. This bar is sweet. Yeah, I like the bar. What you thinking? Southern style crab cakes. Southern style crab cakes. Sounds like a winner to me. Here we go. Crabby cakes. Crabby cakes. Looking good. <laughs>
I saw something about key lime pie. I might have to get a slice to go. <laughs> They're all about the awesome artwork. Check this out. So what do you think of the new Navigator? It's cool. I mean, it's about the same. <laughs> Definitely made some upgrades. The place looks great. The bar looks wonderful. The Navigator lives on and it's better than ever. And that's what happens. What a facility. Cool place. Very cool. But look at this launch. It's totally doable. It's a really nice looking launch. We have seen worse launches. In fact, we've used worse, worse launches. You wouldn't do a big boat. <laughs> well, it's gotta be a shallow draft boat. Yeah. You gotta navigate your ass up in here. Life on the river has not changed. It's still going. All right, before we get back on the boat, we gotta go check out the other awesome bar that these very same people own. A destination, come with us. It's the Rum Bucket. Amazing establishment. It's not that far away, by the way, the crow flies. So we're gonna fly you down there and you gotta see this place. Look at this. <laughs> All right, we made it to the Rum Bucket. Atmosphere, both inside and outside. This is not a typical bar in a small town. This is a destination, a destination for weddings. It looks like a wedding venue. Yeah, I mean, it's like a park setting with koi ponds, you can feed the fish, and it's huge. The place is absolutely humongous. Little outside bar area here. How nice is this? It's nice, it's peaceful, it's pretty. Lots of vegetation. Park benches. And lots of parking for even big rigs like the land yacht. <laughs> Swinging in paradise. Swinging in paradise. We can't wait to just show you inside of this place so that you can see just how beautiful this is. It's so cool. Not your typical dive bar, that's for certain. It's like being in a rainforest. Just to get an idea of how, just how big and grand this place is. It's a really grand entrance. Now let's go down here. Back to the koi pond. Look at all the fishies. Big fish too. Bunch of little ones, a bunch of big ones. Orange ones. Here they come, they want to get fed. They know. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at that behind the bar there. This is proof positive. Same people that own the Navigator own this place. Okay, cool. Yeah, look at this. Really nice place. Absolutely incredible artwork all over the walls of this place. What did you find? I wonder how long this took. This is not your typical backwoods bar. That's cool. Find an alligator? Oh yeah, just waiting to have a bite to eat. Well, this place is ready to entertain. Definitely worth a stop. That's a nice one too. That is right. We made it to the rum bucket. Now it's time to get back on the boat and Key West. We are anchored here. How did we do? We did freaking awesome. Very successful day. Went up to Navigators. We saw an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again tomorrow. Of course. Something different though. And the next day. And the next day. <laughs> Sounds great. Thank Who knows you. That's where you'll see us next. Thank you, Ashley.